In this video, we will install Laravel Homestead together. So I got new Windows machine. So let's get started. So first thing we'll need is uh, VirtualBox 5.2 and Vagrant. So you can install VirtualBox or all other options like Parallels, Hyper-V. But uh, I'll install uh, VirtualBox, it is free. And then Vagrant. So just visit their website and install. So for VirtualBox, choose according to your operating system. I've downloaded this and installed. And similarly for Vagrant as well. I've downloaded 64-bit version. So behind the scene, I've installed both. Just simple installer, nothing much difficult. All right, so once uh, that is done, uh, you don't do this step. Just skip this one. Uh, don't add this VirtualBox manually because if you add like this, it will install for different provider and once you uh, go here and do Vagrant off, it will give some error. So according, according to my experience, uh, just don't do this. We'll install, uh, Vagrant will automatically install according to provider you defined in uh, home state file, like here. So instead of doing, doing all this, we'll install home state first. So just clone this repository. So uh, I'm uh, on Windows, so this tilde won't take me to the home directory. So what I will do, so just for Windows user, otherwise you can just run this command if you are on Mac or Linux. So I'll copy this clone command and go to, go to my home directory, users directory, see users and the name of your user. Okay, so inside users and your user folder will open up terminal and then run this clone command. All right, so I've already cloned this repository. So I will skip that and let's cd into the directory homestead. So in your case, it's uh, it might uh, say master, but master uh, not be uh, master might not be the latest branch so what uh, I have done is just run this command git checkout to the latest branch and if you do that git checkout yeah so you will be in this branch now in this branch we'll run uh, according to our system for Mac Linux this command uh, for Windows this command init.bat so basically it will cre uh, create the homestead.yml file I've already run so it is asking me to overwrite so it might not ask in your case. All right, so let's open this up on VS Code. Okay, so here I uh, just go to homestead.yml file. Here all configuration will happen. So here this will be the default option. VirtualBox is the provider and authorization using this SSH key. So if you haven't generated SSH key, uh, just run uh, SSH keys in command in your system and you are good to go. So if you have already generated SSS key, this should be the right path. You don't need to configure anything here. So in case if you haven't generated SSS key, you can verify that by going to your home directory here and under SSS folder. So if SSS folder exists, that means you got SSS keys. You can verify it here, IDRSA, these two files. So this folder uh, might be hidden. I think that should be hidden. If that is the case, just view the hidden files as well. So once you verify that, you don't need to generate SS SSH key. And so for now, the settings here are okay. You don't need to change anything here. We'll change uh, later on like this folder. So everything looks good. Uh, let's go to terminal. And from here, uh, we need to run vagrant up command. So this is important. So this will uh, look for the any uh, homestead uh, box, vagrant box. If it is not available, it will download. So that's why we skipped that adding uh, part command there. So it couldn't be found, attempting to find and install. All right, so it is uh, downloading. So according to your internet speed, it might take some time, maybe one hour if you are on slow network all right so while running vagrant off uh, if for some reason uh, your internet connection goes down 
uh, don't worry it will just resume from uh, that location just run uh, vagrant up again so in my case I run vagrant up and due to some reason uh, the network gives some error and it uh, interrupted so again just run vagrant up and it will just resume from that location so now after uh, all got uh, downloaded and it will just install it will ask for you for permission to make changes just hit ok ok so now let's run uh, vagrant SSH to log into our machine vagrant of will boot up the machine and uh, SSH is like uh, logging into your machine alright so we are inside our virtual machine so this is fully functional Ubuntu machine that uh, you can do ls ls la yeah so we are currently inside home you can go back so you uh, basically you can perform uh, any action that you perform on your Ubuntu machine okay now let's install uh, Laravel project and run inside homestead okay so uh, what we'll do is we'll map uh, some folder to our backend to our virtual machine folder so let me create uh, one folder named yeah I can I can uh, I'll name it a web now let's open up uh, this folder on VS code and go to dot yaml file yeah so currently the code is mapped to this but we, we want to map another folder let's map uh, web so let me show you one thing let's create a uh, let's create some file here so let's create a new text document checking it all right so since we make uh, if you make any change to homestead.yml file like we did in this case uh, what we will do is just run this command vagrant reload and with provision flag alright so once that is done let's SSS into our virtual machine so basically we are logging into our virtual machine okay so now let's see in which folder we are so we are inside home vagrant so let's uh, list so here we got this code folder let's cd into code there we go let's list so we got uh, this file there right so these both folder are mapped so in our uh, local machine this is uh, this folder web folder is mapped to code folder inside virtual machine so whatever you put here is similar is same as putting something inside virtual machine so so the idea is that so these two folder are shared so uh, from now on uh, this folder is like www folder like in laragon we put all our code here uh, like uh, laravel projects here similarly now we'll put our laravel uh, project inside web all right so uh, let's install a new laravel project here let's open up new tab and let's go to web folder this is the folder that we mapped so I will uh, create a laravel new project actually laravel new alright so that uh, this project got installed so if you see inside here yeah we got this as project as well so now what we want to do is we want to see that project here alright with some uh, virtual host name like as project dot test so to do that what we'll do is yeah we need to uh, update homestead.yaml file every time we want to make any changes so folders looks good uh, and now sites let's create a new entry okay so I will call this as project dot test and that should map to home vagrant code and inside code we got as project and then this map to public all right okay so now our folder is correctly mapped 
yeah, we don't need this entry you can keep it or just delete it doesn't make any sense let's delete that all right so as project dot this should match to this folder so currently if you visit you shouldn't see that all right so so next thing what we need to do is we need to include this on our host file so let's copy that and uh, let's open up our windows host host file that will be inside there we go so windows system 32 drivers etc and let's edit this with notepad and here we need to add a uh, new entry let's duplicate that all right so these all are created by largon so we don't need comment so newly created uh, our post uh, name will be this and this should map to uh, this IP address all right not this one because uh, that should be on virtual machine not in our local machine let's save it yes yes save okay that got saved now now also you uh, yeah you'll get something like this because so whenever you make change to this yaml file you need to reload uh, your machine virtual machine so let's exit out of this let's run vagrant reload with provision flag okay once that is done let's reload this again yeah there we go so we can see our laravel project on this location so uh, next step is to connect to database so so if you go to documentation you will find the connection information connecting to database so you should connect to this port this with this port all right so let's do that so i recommend you use this uh, id sql if you are on windows and here you can create a new connection name it like homestead okay so our host name will be same this one and port 33060 and port will be 3360 database username and password is homestead and secret secret one yes there we go so now we have access to our database so let's create a new database called s project okay create it now let's open this up on vs code go to dot env project so host is totally fine just change this now let's try migrating again yeah there we go so migration created successfully so run php audition make auth authentication done let's refresh authentication done there we go all right so our workflow will be just cd into uh, homestead directory homestead directory there we go and what we'll do is we'll run vagrant off so this is like just booting up the machine virtual machine and then you can uh, normally develop that so one thing uh, you cannot run this vagrant of command from anywhere in your terminal so you can easily do that so for example if i'm on i'm on some other directory i can't run vagrant of it won't uh, boot up the homestead yeah we need we always need to go to homestead and then run vagrant of so what we can do to make it easier it's uh, if you uh, go here on uh, documentation page so for mac linux you need to put this on your dot uh, bash rc file and for windows just create this file and add this to your path all right so i'll create this file just copy the content here so inside c create our directory uh, you can name it uh, anything you want so i named it homestead and inside here you can create new document 
homestead dot bat so since I already got it I don't need to do that so open up newly created file in into uh, using notepad and just paste the content so after pasting content uh, you need to make sure that uh, this path is correct this path should point to your homestead directory not this directory but inside uh, this directory so homestead that we cloned from github which contain this homestead.yml file and all other configuration so just point this, uh, just replace this with your username, that should work. Alright, so after that, save it and now we need to add this folder. We need to add this folder to our path. Uh, just copy this. In Windows, we add like environment variables. The search for environment variables and go to path, add new one and just paste that as you can see I've already done that so just add this one okay so that's it now you can run a uh, homestead command from anywhere see like this now you can run homestead ssh homes so now vagrant means homestead so previously we used to run vagrant up to boot up the machine now you can run homestead up all right so this is how we install homestead so if you find this video helpful please like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye